Hello, everyone. Welcome to Bella's Corner, where the truth is delivered with love. Thank you so much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you will, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And also want to let you know, my channel now has memberships. So if that's something you're interested in, please on a PC, click the join button. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm on Priscilla the Queen break this week, apparently. Shout out to Stanley. Thank you so much for sending me this video. We're just, we're going to listen and we're just going to talk about it. I don't know, y'all. It's just, oh, this lady here. Mm, mm, mm. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So here's the reality, ladies. Men bring down your value. And here's how. Previously, I spoke about market value versus intrinsic value. Market value is based on what a person is willing to pay for an asset. So in the housing market, the value of a house is based on the neighborhood and the location. People make up the neighborhood, thus create the market. A house in the ghetto is not as valuable as a house in the suburbs, even if you built that suburb house in the ghetto. The market, i.e. the people that make up the neighborhood, brings the value of that asset down. So what am I saying? Is that men are the market, and the average male represents the ghetto. Ladies, don't place your house in the ghetto and try to appeal to that ghetto. Down goes your value. Like, I'm just fed the up. I can't take another minute of this bull. Oh. Here she go again with all of these metaphorical terms and stories, but it still just doesn't quite stick or make sense, really. But anyway, she's saying that the average man, so the man that you're around on, a consistent basis, the men who approach you, and things of that nature. So a majority of men, because that's what average is, average is the majority. She's saying, don't appeal. Don't do work. Don't have a desire for those types of men because those types of men, the average man brings your value down. Well, Trigger warning, ladies, most of you, most of us, most people are average, okay? So if she is implying that you as a female, you as a woman is better than the average male, then she's also implying that every woman is above average? That every woman isn't, or most rather, most women are above average or above basic, aren't basic? So here's someone again, an unmarried woman and a woman who clearly lacks femininity, just the way she speaks and the way she carries herself, it doesn't scream feminine, first of all. So this woman who lacks femininity, this woman who lacks a husband and a woman who clearly doesn't really have common sense is up here telling you as an average woman not to try to appeal to the average man, future wives, do not listen to this advice. Yes, there are dusties. Yes, there are men who are busted, dusted, disgusted, and should not have your time. You shouldn't even stop for and look at. Yes, there are men out here like that. However, most men are not like that. And or if you attract the dusties and the crusties, maybe you're a dusty and a crusty. Okay? 
So ladies, if you keep attracting the dusties and the crusties, that more than likely means your femininity is only worth about $2. You complain about him going to McDonald's and getting you a meal. Maybe you're only worth a McDonald's meal. Maybe your femininity is only worth a McDonald's meal. Maybe it's only worth that McChicken meal with the, with the dry, crusty cookie on the side and the watered down high seat. Maybe, just maybe, ladies, your femininity is only worth that much. I've talked about it in my last lives, in my previous lives, ladies. These women want $500 dinner dates but their femininity is only worth five dollars you think your femininity is worth jay alexander's and the nicest steakhouse and things of that nature when really you're only worth steak and shake your femininity is only worth steak and shake yes ladies we are essentially uh, i guess you can say born with value but in addition to that your environment and the things that you're taught in the home will either increase or decrease or keep your femininity at bay but you have to be aware of where you stand and where your femininity stands in relation to the market which is men because remember ladies, men hold the key to marriage and relationship. So yes, it is appropriate to appeal to the market, to appeal to the type of man you want, meaning increasing your femininity, meaning losing some weight, meaning working on your attitude, meaning working on your demeanor and keeping it classy and never trashy, okay? My name is Jillian. I'm 20 years old. I'm from Canada. Uh, the highest level of education completed was high school. I decided not to go to college, and I'm, I said I'm single, right? And then, uh, and then what do you do for work? I'm a writer. Okay. It's not for Vice, though, right? No, okay. no, I saw that in the comments. Yeah, fuck no. Vice. Okay, uh, what about you? Hi, my name is Hollywood. I'm a hey, set of... So she's saying, don't put your house in the ghetto only appeal to a man who is above average ladies another news flash y'all most of y'all most 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 of y'all are not going to get that you know million dollar man you're not because you're not around them and they wouldn't even look at you anyway if he walked past you down the street. There was nothing wrong with the average man because most people are average. And this type of rhetoric and advice will leave you disappointed and alone and struggling and trying to figure out where all the good men are and trying to figure out how come you can't get a man because you may think that your femininity and your worth is much higher than what it actually is because you haven't even put in the work to self-improve and to become and to be a wife ladies when a man finds a wife he finds a good thing again that scripture as i said before implies that she was already a wife already a wife not shout out to dre from harrison family values not a man who finds a woman and then be, makes her a wife and then marries her then that's when she becomes a good thing that's not what that scripture says because not all of you are wives not all of you were taught to be wives not all of you have the mindset to be a wife not all of you are willing to put in the work thanks to um you know different forms of uh, again rhetoric uh, points of views you know such as feminism you know movements that has lessened the quality in the pool of women for men to choose from and for men to wed. When a man finds a wife, when a man finds a, a woman who is prepared for what wifedom comes with, that is when he finds a good thing. This woman 
who's nobody's wife, who's nobody's queen, is trying to tell you that you're the prize. When really the man who is the market, they are the prize because they hold the, the key to the provision, to the protection, to the problem solving and to the procreation. They hold the key to, to the relationship and to the marriage. Therefore, he is actually the prize. But she's telling you again, who's nobody's queen. That's why I call her Priscilla the queen breaker. She's telling you to think of yourself above, uh, above the average man when most people, most people. Uh, women are average are basic that doesn't make sense so ladies what is your femininity worth have you been told that you're combative in relationship have you been told um, you know maybe you should lose a couple of the pounds have you been told you're a bit masculine have have you been told you know that you need to work on certain things in, 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 in regards to uh, how you behave in relationship. If you have, take heed. Don't take offense, but take heed. Because when you work on those things continuously, that is when you increase your femininity, ladies. What does your femininity look like? Do you need to work on being compassionate? Do you need to work on being submissive? I know y'all don't like that word. Do you need to work on being more sensitive, less reactive? Do you need to work on being more receptive and open to criticism? These are the ways you can increase your femininity, thus increasing your worth, thus causing you to attract a better quality man. That's the type of advice you need. Not just you worth a million dollars and a Ferrari and a private jet. And so if any man who can't provide you that Hermes bag and the X, Y, and Z, if he can't afford that on date one, two, or three, he ain't worth you, your time, your coochie, or nothing like that. You don't need to be listening to none of that advice because nowhere in that is character discussed nowhere in that is self-improvement discussed and nowhere in that is the question asked are you actually worth that type of man reality check ladies sorry maybe all you qualify for is a dusty and a crusty musted busted and disgusted if that's what you see in your pool of options sis maybe it's time to work on yourself to improve yourself you need to read some books you need to go to the gym again you need to increase your femininity and then maybe that is when you will attract better quality men but remember ladies the men are the market and they hold the key to relationship and marriage you can't make a man marry you you can't make a man get down on one knee you can't make a man want to provide his true for peas to you when you are, are only worth half of a pea. When you are only worth a time in the bed with the pea. And that's it. And you go and you get sent home. He might have some leave some nuggets for you on the counter, but that's it. Don't listen to this type of advice. Priscilla, the queen maker, okay, the queen breaker. Ladies, if a woman is telling you that she gonna quote unquote make you a queen and she don't even have a king, she is no queen herself. So she's not qualified to even give you that quote unquote advice anyway. A queen is no queen without a king. The definition, ladies, of a queen is the wife or a wife, the wife, to the king therefore without a king you are no queen that is all i have for you for today the truth has been signed sealed and delivered by yours truly if you like the content you see then please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads or when i go live and please share my videos with any girls or young ladies who you think would benefit from this information. And until next time, I will see you in the next one.
Bye-bye.